Hi, um, this is a, a continuation of the astrology reading, and uh, since um, Manuela is uh, an artist, I uh, wanted to show you some of her art, okay, so that you could understand some of the points that I was making about the uh, planetary uh, combinations and so forth. All right, one of the points that I, I made in the uh, astrology reading uh, was that um, she has Vahu in the 12th position, the 12th position, to her ascendant and to the sun. And uh, these are, uh, there are actually three, three uh, lagnas or what we call ascendants. And the ascendant and the sun are the second and the third. The first and the most important uh, ascendant or lagna is the moon. The moon governs the mind. So in, since the Rahu is in the 12th position to the ascendant and to the sun, uh, then therefore, therefore, um, Manuela's uh, concern here, her obsession, I would say, her obsession uh, is mostly with precision precision um, as you can see here uh, you don't have to be much of an, uh, an artist to appreciate the fact that there is a, a lot of uh, anatomical detail here uh, uh, obviously a masterful detail and at the same time there is um, a lot of sexuality this is one of the uh, points I made to you about the fact that a Saturn is in her second house conjunct with Venus. Saturn is the ruler of the eighth house, the house of secrets, the house of sexuality. So uh, there is um, this um, uh, this point that I wanted to make. So a lot of position here as far as uh, anatomy is concerned, and then at the same time a lot of uh, sexuality. All right, let's look at uh, another painting here, uh, The Lotus. Try to get that up. Again, you'll see uh, in uh, a lot of detail here, uh, a lot of texture in the painting itself, a lot of pe texture. And uh, again, a lot of detail with the anatomy, very precise anatomy position here with uh, regards to um, the foliage even, but an extraordinary use, uh, almost an explosion of uh, color, color, and this I believe comes from uh, her uh, Caribbean roots. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, next painting here. I don't know how much time we have here for all of these paintings. Again, a lot of detail. She uses a lot of texture in here. She's using some other elements uh, in the uh, painting itself. Uh, well, we're seeing here, I believe there's some cloth embedded in the painting itself. All right. And again, a lot of detail here with the uh, anatomy. And uh, Basically, I, I believe we're seeing a lot of uh, surrealism. Okay, let's see if we can look at this painting. This one here, the avocado. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't want to come up. I'm sorry about that one. Uh, here's the mermaid's children. All right, and again, a lot of detail, a lot of anatomical precision, and uh, she does have four children, four, four boys, and of course, uh, an island. We have an island here, and again, another uh, explosion of colors, uh, textures, uh, uh, sensuality. Okay, loving and nurturing, nurturing atmosphere. Okay, 
Uh, then we have uh, an angel eating light. Very beautiful painting. You can see the expression of uh, the spirit in this uh, child. All right, and we also see the anatomy, a lot of um, precision, and again, a lot of explosion of uh, colors. This kind of her trademark, trademark. Remember, Venus is very well positioned there uh, in her uh, second house, and uh, during the time that she was developing in her Rahu period. Uh, there, there's also a very strong connection there with uh, the the arts. I know we have uh, the little little sage. These are paintings of her children, and uh, a lot of beautiful anatomy here, powerful anatomy, and again an uh, explosion of colors. Okay, very, very beautiful artwork here. Okay, let's see, the Lotus Keeper. Here we go. Beautiful anatomy. Very difficult to um, capture anatomy, to be very uh, precise about it, and at the same time to uh, be expressive. She's got a lot of texture in here. Uh, looks like there's a use of uh, a lot of heavy oils, uh, textures, palette knife. Okay, and then the, this last one here, Seduction of the River. Oops. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can get that one for you. Uh, it keeps evading us. Well, <clears throat> I guess we won't be able to see that one. This, oh, here it is. So again, uh, really, she's uh, quite, quite a master of the anatomical detail and also at um, capturing, capturing the emotions of her subjects. So uh, that's all I wanted to speak to you again. This is uh, part two of the reading for Manuela Aponte, the astrologer, uh, the astrological reading for her, predicting that she will also uh, go on to publish some books very shortly. So thank you for listening, uh, and I will be speaking to you again.